This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart months. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. Yes, and we are glad that you have joined us. My name is Willie Kinyash. And they say, out of sight, out of mind. And does this really affect long distance relationships? We want to talk about, about long distance relationship. And your long distance relationship will fail unless you do this. Unless <laughs> I do what? Yes. Na uh, and first of all, you should avoid deliberately planting yourself in a long distance relationship. In fact, I want you to delete that word and adjust it to when relationship is in a long distance. Now, what will happen? And I am trying to grow my family. That's why I'm looking for this job out there. Yes. So, so we are coming there. We are saying, do not start out dating a person who is miles and miles away. Ah, that is in dating. Yes. Okay. Do not acquire a spouse consciously who is far away. Some people even doing another country doing very far away. Mm. There are many dangers. That distance obscures your view, uh -huh. literally and figuratively. Because you are looking at them from very far, there's a lot you cannot see. Yes. And a lot of view is obscured. Uh -huh. And you're seeing what they're showing you because you're using gadgets to, yes. to bring them to view. Yeah. So they only focus the cameras, what they want you to see. Yeah. They clean that part. You're not able to see them in social action. <laughs> How to date is not just coffee date. When you meet for coffee, I'm dressed up. I'll talk. Consciously. Yes. You should see me in what? Social action. Uh. I should see Willie living his life. Mm. Going to work, interacting with people, paying bills and negotiating together. That is the real Willie. That one. Yes. That is the one you marry. No, this other one. The, oh, meeting for coffee is part of it. Talking video call is part of it. Talk, that's okay. But do not marry a person until you see them living the life. Mm. You should get a sense of how they relate with people. A sense of how they manage money. Mm. A sense of how they resolve issues. Mm -hmm. A sense of how they are managing their own family because relatives are enough test. Mm. <laughs> Many times your own relatives are the first examination. Yeah. <laughs> of whether you can say no, yeah. can put boundaries, mm -hmm. <laughs> whether you can manage your money, whether you can... They tend to be too entitled or sometimes even when they mean well mm -hmm. to overstay their welcome in your life. Yeah. You need to see how she has managed her life. So... Do not deliberately get into a long distance relationship. In fact, reverse that word to say, my relationship is in a long distance. Ah. Again, if you cannot meet physically, interact closely when you are dating, even the marriage won't work. Many people for ignoring that rule. They imagine the things will change when you get married. And then they get married and the marriage still becomes a long distance. Mm -hmm. And they have spent their years like that. They tell you we have been married 12 years. We have never been together for more than two years in total. Mm -hmm. They have children, but they have never enjoyed intimacy. They only meet, hit and, hit and run. And some people appear once a month, and that becomes their... They are, they are settled in that kind of life. During dating, once you realize you connect, check whether practically you are able to converge. If the person doesn't seem committed to migrate... To converge and live together. Don't bother. Don't go ahead. Mm. You're going to be in a virtual marriage. Do you want a virtual marriage? No. <laughs> virtual. <laughs> not physical. Not real. Mm. <laughs> you know? And do you want your children to be raised by their mother who always appears on the phone? No. Be careful. Be careful. So we are saying, we, we, today we want to discuss not a long distance relationship because you started dating a, a girl in Japan. Mm -hmm. I know you're asking us how to manage a relationship from Japan <laughs> and there's no real plan mm -hmm. that we met. No, don't start dating people who are far away. You don't even know who they are. You don't know how their physical presence feels like. And when they pop into your space, they can act for the two days they are here. Mm -hmm. Then they fly back. Mm -hmm. And then you marry them in that climate. Then you start getting shocked at the real person once you start living together in marriage. You start getting surprised. At the life, a whole life you did not see. 
We're not saying it is not possible or some people have not done it well. We are saying it is so risky. It's not worth it. It's risky. Too risky. Don't date a person who is far away. It's and, too and, risky. And let me ask, talking about long distance relationship, and maybe sometimes you just think about maybe this person is in Kenya, that person is in Japan. What about maybe this one person is in Gibraltar, the other one is in Karen? Yes. Distance is dictated by difficulty in connection. Mm -hmm. Not how many kilometers. So, sometimes you are in a general geographical area, same city, same county. That is generally not considered a long distance because within an hour or so you can come where I am. Mm -hmm. So, if it is taking you very long to commute where I am, that's what we are calling long distance. Mm -hmm. Long, again, could be relative, but most of us can agree that if you can travel to where I am in three hours, that is not really long. Mm -hmm. You get? Yeah. But if it's taking you a day, do you get it now? Yes. If you need to stop a whole day mm -hmm. to be in a bus, mm -hmm. to come where I am, yeah. we already know that is not easy. Mm -hmm. And for us to meet, it is taking very difficult circumstances. So if you are on one side, Kisumu, Mombasa, either you have to pay, to pay a lot of money for flights, or you have to take depending on our economy again. Mm -hmm. There's a time that maybe the airplane, the cost of airplane for our children, maybe we'll have made our lives so better that it is like the cost of a, a bus. Yeah. But as we are now, the economies we are talking about, mm -hmm. it's not by the time we are starting life, not everybody can be flying every weekend. Mm, true. <laughs> to come see you, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. It's to say long distance will be dictated by the difficulty, the length of time it is taking you to just meet physically. Try as much as possible to date people within your locus of operation. Mm -hmm. And the idea of online should not make you think now you can date somebody in Southern California because anyway, we can talk on Facebook, we connected on Twitter. <laughs> You're lying to yourself. Yes. You're starting something that will be very costly to sustain. The cost of sustaining things should be part of your budget. If it is very difficult to build, it is very difficult to bring up, if it, it's so hard to do this and you're trying to, you're trying to meet midway. Whenever you see so much struggle, you're trying to pour oil on the wrong head. Mm. If the oil is not flowing, change who you're trying to pour it on. You know, remember we are using that imagery where the prophet was supposed to, uh, to choose a king. By anointing, when the horn does not flow, that's not the one. Yeah. If there is no flow, that's not the one. Yes. <laughs> Don't force. <laughs> Don't take something and remove the oil by force. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The, how then? Because even if you are in a, 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 a you are dating from the same lo locus, same lo area. At some point, because of careers and life we might be separated for a period. Mm -hmm. We may get a good job in China mm -hmm. for you alone. Yeah. Your company may send you to South Africa yeah. for four months, six months. So today we are discussing that period that circumstances force you to be away from each other. And we are saying the following are the things you shall do because it's inevitable that even when you are together in the flow of life, Today we are no longer living in villages. You know, mm -hmm. back then it was in the village and, <laughs> you know. Today the whole world is a village. Yeah. You can go to Brazil. It's very easy. Nowadays, there before traveling was a big deal. Yes. A whole village would have to escort the person. Yeah. You know they traveled when there was a whole hype in the village. Uh -huh. That we took him to the airport. Yes. Even me, I went to escort him. Yes. So today it is not uncommon for someone to tell you, I just landed this morning. Yeah. There's no hype. Mm. Will he just land <laughs> From a business trip yes. to Southern Sudan, mm -hmm. to Addis Ababa. Actually, I was in Cairo the other day. People mention in passing. Mm -hmm. You don't even question it. Oh, you, you are saying it to brag. We don't increase your status by telling us you flee. Perhaps it was a company <laughs> sponsored trip. Yes. <laughs> we, we don't even take it seriously. Yeah. There before we were too, it was a big 
envy. Mm -hmm. You even sometimes, first of all, ask why they were flying to India. Is it a medical issue? <laughs> sometimes. You don't just jump to envy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. And, and, and some of us, we, we love traveling, but we also know it's fatigue. You know, that, that's disorienting. Yes. You have to change your network. I don't know to roam. You know? Mm. <laughs> you know? There's a part of traveling that's fun, but there's also another part that is not fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it disrupts your program. Yeah. <laughs> so, even if you have to now stay far away for one year because of work, you shall follow these four rules and you make your relationship to survive. Mm -hmm. If you don't follow these rules, you lose connection. Let me warn you, you can start out perfectly with your partner. Yeah. Very well. But for that period of time that her company sent her to Northern Garissa, and you are left at home yes. with the kids. Mm -hmm. And your rhythm of communication was interrupted. There's only one spot under a particular tree where she could find network. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she would leave the phone there so for you to send messages. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that period of no talking, no communication, can suffocate your vibe, can lower the connection, mm -hmm. can interfere with the heart to heart. Until when you meet, there's a disconnect. The disconnect is a nightmare. My brother, you don't want that. There's a bubble you have created with your wife. There's a bubble of emotional warmth, mm. of flow, of the way you're talking, or the way you're on, you are at par with each other, at par with each other. If she disappears for one week. Yeah. Not even a week. <laughs> 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 Do you get it? Yes. If we don't handle distance well, it will create a disconnect. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to counter a real problem. Somebody may ask, oh, must we be... If you know what we are trying to safeguard, yeah. the bond, yes. the closeness, yeah. the rhythm, you will know very well that by just disappearing to some place, either voluntary or involuntary disconnection. If a whole day going away without us talking, you feel sick. You feel love sick, man. Hmm. You feel frustrated, disoriented, you can't even focus. Yes. You feel triggered. That is one day. Yeah, okay. Just, even if the time you usually talk has been skipped. Yes. You wonder what's you, wrong with this. People have a rhythm like around lunch hour they do their call. Mm. After this, some hours they do their. Then that time, one of you was not available. You wonder like something is not there. Yeah. And it's not jealous. This is not, okay, jealousy of course, uh, the healthy type. But this is not about insecurity. Mm. This is not about uh, suspecting them. Just the, the energy, the hunger, what they fulfill in you. If you are genuinely connected, you can't stay there another day. Imagine if we go eight days without talking. You don't know what love is. We don't know what love is. You know, we are always in contact. We are always in touch. We are with them. We are together. We are, we are, we are talking. So we are trying to safeguard distance from cutting that away. Mm -hmm. If that bubble is busted, the consultation you usually do with her. Who will you consult? Mm. You know, you become so dependent on your, con on your conversations that she can verify things, she can play a certain... And it has become so automatic, you don't think about it. Until she has spent at her home because of her function. And then you come home, <laughs> you see difference. Yeah. Oh, so the litter is usually taken out today. where well, there was no one to take it mm. out. No, you have a litter to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to look for socks, you can't find uh, You know, <laughs> small things. Yes. The house seems too cold. You know, you used to think coldness is about temperature. Mm -hmm. No, you know, coldness and warmth <laughs> is about yeah. connection. Mm -hmm. It feels, <sighs> you even now, there's something missing. You call up Steve, you go meet over coffee to avoid this boredom. You come back at night just to sleep. Yeah. That's one reason bachelors go home late. There's nothing ah. exciting. <laughs> Yes, nothing exciting <laughs> to do at home, <laughs> you know. We are trying to avoid that busting that bubble. And one of the rules is normalize technology. Even me, if you are in your 40s and 50s and you're saying we are not, we are not, I'm not a technology, I'm not, I'm not a techie person, I don't do too much social media. When distance comes, you must normalize technology. Yeah. You must normalize, yes, we are talking on phone, but now we start sharing online so that we can see each other's lives. Mm -hmm. Every time you see people posting on their Facebook, you should not think they're just posting for friends. Why are you exposing your life? Sometimes their partner is very far away and they're looking for more ways to keep each other visible, mm -hmm. in sight, 
in each other's world. So the virtual world helps you to create another kind of connection. When you see that they posted, they were in this seminar, you see them there, they're posting points from this seminar, what they were learning, you're also learning with them, and you can get a point of discussion. Next time when you're talking, you see that point you say that speaker mentioned. Mm -hmm. And the methodology they're using there, mm -hmm. I liked that. I also saw a point, how about we try it? Oh yeah, you saw that? I mm. She was posting her experiences in the training in China. And other being trained about the modern agriculture and the farming technologies that are coming up. And other using drones for irrigation, for example, new technologies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she was saying, she was sharing with our community online there, and you are part of it. Now, you read that, you comment, ah, I like this part. Later on when you are talking, you refer to the point. Yeah. You use technology to include each other more in your world. The technology also means you can watch movies at the same time. You can watch programs at the same time. You may be in different time zones. But one of you says, you know what's our favorite program? We're going to watch it together. Mm -hmm. Then the kids are here, we have put it on, and we put the video call, and then she's watching with us. How does it feel? Like we are still together. Yeah. We are applying technology to continue our memories of connection, to continue our worlds of inclusion, like we are still connected. Mm. If you just limit to phone calls, what happens between the phone calls? Total silence, isn't it? Yeah. The time zones can also be disorienting. We used to wake up at the same time. Yeah. Now I'm waking up when you're sleeping. Yes. We can't tell each other good night. Good night to yours is good morning. Good morning. <laughs> You just need somebody to be in Australia and they're just seven hours ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Seven hours is a general period of sleeping. Yes. <laughs> so perfectly, when they're waking up, you are sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> if you do not harmonize somewhere, a meeting point, you will lose connection. You will drift. Technology comes in. Before technology, they had to struggle to send a letter that takes very long to arrive. Mm. But now, we have technology that can be instant. Just sharing photos of moments, sharing photos more. You arrive, you tell them I arrived. You arrive, you tell them I did this. How does, wh what does that end up doing? It creates a, a feeling that we are close. Number two, set a deadline for the end of the distance. Uh. If it's only open-ended, we don't know when it will end. You can get tired of waiting and you can look for solution close by. Remember, your emotional, physical needs are physical. They cannot be met virtually. So while we are far away, I know there are physical needs. I have to wait. How long am I waiting? Waiting is easier when I know for until when. You understand? Yeah. Waiting is easier when you know until when. Mm. You do not wait indefinitely. You do not wait with all this difficulty. And then you don't know, oh, maybe perhaps after a year, after two years. When we know we are doing a countdown. Three months to go. Two and a half to go. There's that excitement. Yes, anticipation mm. and I can mm. hold myself more. Mm. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. We, we tend to, to miss and long when there's distance. But if it takes too long, the heart grows tired. You just get sad. You're just there. When you don't know when it will end, so don't have indefinite separation. Make sure all your separations are definite. They are controlled. Yeah. You have determined that we shall do this up to this point. We shall do this up to this point. And the doing and the, the limit is always how much money or what was the purpose you're going for schooling, will you be coming after this long? Mm -hmm. That kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. And the third rule is to create memories. Mm -hmm. To create memories despite the distance. When you are close, you used to organize maybe surprise birthday parties. Used to organize maybe connection point. Used to organize maybe a time of, you know, um, going out. Right now, the best way to create memories is to take advantage of the uniqueness of the two geographical locations you are in. You might have the curio or memento or the artifact or the things, you have, the culture, that culture makes for memories. And then you obtain them for me. You obtain them for us. Imagine you, that culture is very good at weaving um, ornaments mm. that are handmade. Mm. Then you make one with your name, one with my name, yeah. one with our child. Then you're sending them for our birthday. Shall we ever forget that? No. That is permanently embedded as a memory. Wow. So instead of complaining, 
look at what 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 is around me that is memorable another way to send a gift by surprise you send a DHL a courier by silently and when I'm just here oh a gift mm -hmm. arrives yes and it is just so you did not expect it they're very far away mm -hmm. You know, these couriers, you tell them even their house. They'll go all the way to that building. Mm. <laughs> They'll deliver it there. Imagine when you do those kind of things. Another kind of creating memory is you organize with a friend over here. Um, they do a small party, maybe for two, three people to cut a cake. Then they have already organized a video call. You are there singing their happy birthday. Yeah. A memory. Create something that is emotional. When I was young and naive, I never used to understand what is the point of surprise? Why must we surprise people? <laughs> <laughs> when I grew up, I realized that they create memories. Mm -hmm. They create positive shock, pleasurable shock. Uh, unexpected, a twist, a turn, adventure, newness, freshness, feeling somebody thought about you. Yeah. And it, is, it lingers in memory for so long. Life is a story. You always wonder, pleasurable plot twist. So a surprise is a plot twist. <laughs> it's an introduction of, wow. You know, it's, it's a good secret. People get, kept something away from you for your good. Yeah. Then they brought it unexpectedly. Surprises also allow people to know how we care about them. Mm. You know, there before when people wanted to, to do things for you, they involved you. I'm trying to get you a trouser. Get me your measurements. <laughs> Yeah. You are going to the market. If you don't hurry up, I'll stop. <laughs> there before for people to get things for you. <laughs> yes. You do a lot of participation. Yeah. Now people are doing things for you without your participation? Yes. That feels on another level. That's the point of a surprise. Yeah. Somebody took their time to do something for you without your participation. That is staggering. That is ah. Oh, it is relieving. Yeah. It is when you find a person who can go out of their way to make something for you, to build something for you, you feel, you feel, and then they involved another person. Mm. It, the, you know the intrigue of how they organized it without you knowing. Mm. <laughs> He's your best friend. You know, yes. and, and they get to know things, yeah. and they just try a surprise when you're far away. <laughs> and professionals nowadays, you know, we are professionals in, those, in that sector. Yeah. They can even sing a whole song. Yes. You can get a band mm -hmm. to surprise Willie in the street. Yes. And there's a friend of him called Tom, whom we engaged, to take Willie around as if he's escort me for an appointment. Mm -hmm. Then the appointment, you hear a band is singing and mentioning Willie. Yeah. Okay. Is it another namesake? Uh -huh. Then they're, they're carrying your photo. Then you wake up, oh my God, all oh, this was a setup. Yes. You feel set up, fixed for a good thing. Yeah. That's how surprises work. You should organize them to plant permanent memories. They linger on forever. Now the same thing, you should also organize a birthday party for your kid when they are one year. They can't conceptualize a lot, but the photos. Yeah. The recollection that people thought about me even when I could not do anything for them. Yes. It is very special. Mm. Today we can hardly find a photo. Forget birthday. <laughs> If you bump upon accidentally, yeah. a group photo when you are one, <laughs> you treasure it. Yes. Somebody recorded a memory of you. Yeah. For you. Oh. You know, it is precious. Okay, okay, there was a problem with technology that time maybe. Uh -huh. But even today, even when you have technology, you don't think about the child. Mm -hmm. Imagine when you are given a picture of this is your mom going to the delivery for you. This is you now after me. This is one year. Mm. How do you feel that somebody thought about me? They wanted to show me my journey. You feel, wow. So do that when you are far away. Create memories. The last thing you need to do is to, to, to use it for conspiracy. To plan a project, an advantage, an advancement that would have been otherwise impossible except for the distance. You take the separation time to do something outside the box that you can say you flipped fate. You can say you took advantage and you turned it for your good. So together think and force your mind to come up with something you can do for being away. 
that can advance the family finances forward, that can make your overall family situation better. For example, she can maybe what she's studying in Sweden, is Sweden, Switzerland. She has she has gone there in 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 in, in a country where technology of construction is so refined and forward. We can decide to build a house that is using the design there <coughs> to surprise the world. We can decide that because you are in America and we have realized we can import some things there and put up something that is different. <coughs> we can get even a car that is good and because of you are around there you can organize things. Look for a way to flip the script that the distance was a struggle. You make it a win, a victory, by taking advantage of something that the opportunity that being apart from each other presented to make a permanent positive leap. A quantum leap, a big leap. You leap forward. For example, if, 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 if you find yourself in China and you know construction materials there could be cheaper, you can put up an alumi aluminum house. You know, people here used to concrete and bricks. Yeah. And you actually realize people have evolved there. Mm. It's, and, and, and these guys have complete logistics and they have agents in your country. Yes. Design the house there with architects there. Pay for it there. Show them where to put up. They will put it up in one week. Mm -hmm. Because they are not waiting for drying. There is no 21 days for watering, for curing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you're surprised. So what did you guys do? Yes. A house in one week? You have planted a house. <laughs> <laughs> and it is done so well, so fine. You realize, huh? Mm -hmm. You can now say we flipped the script. Yeah. It was supposed to be a period of struggle and pain. Now we look at the house and say it was good. It was Napoleon Hill who said every adversity has a seed for an equal or greater opportunity, greater goodness. Every adversity. He went all the way to explain even the death of a loved one. But it's only a seed. It's not the fruit. Mm -hmm. If you don't look closely, you won't see it. You should look closely and get to see what is, what is the advantage. Acquire it. Get to know that by coming that close by coming so close to another technology and living in another culture. You can even make good connections for starting another business. You, you identify what is the business opportunity for being abroad here. These guys buy this. These guys sell that. I can use it. I can use the other one. I can move this. I can move the other. By just using that triad, that angle, that cycle, you can actually make a different thing to be birthed, to be budded in your, in your, in your, in your life. People realize now you're exporting things. They wonder you're exporting to who the contacts you made. Mm. And they tell you, if you guys can plant beans, this can, and said, we are very happy to buy at this price. Now you are here exporting macadamia to a country we norm normally don't export. Yeah. What has happened? You stayed there, you learned the trade, you used, and for two years, three years, we made a fortune of it. Yeah. We moved forward. The last instruction is to make sure you flip the script by looking for an opportunity in that difficult situation you're in. Could be a technology you can import, could be a business contact you can make, could be cheaper goods you can get, could networking that can be profitable back then, back at home. It could be a new learning. You can learn a, a craft there. When you use it here, it, you can monetize it. Make sure you determine as a couple, both of you that, for being apart, who make advantage of it. Or it can be on the other end. Mm -hmm. You who was left. <laughs> that free time, you start doing something that is very progressive. For the times that we are not doing now, the family times, we are, we are apart now, I can start doing something and build another thing, build a, something that by the time we finish this one year, these two years of separatedness, it is very, I started my construction at home so I could spend more time with the constructors there. Mm -hmm. Because I'm just around myself, we're just talking on phone. Yeah. I can finish our project. I can expedite our things. Maybe you're getting money there, you're sending me. So within that period, quickly, we spiraled upwards. Within the period of two years, yes, we endured separateness. But look where we are. Yeah. We achieved a lot. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much. And we are glad that you tuned in. If you are in a long-distance relationship, 
keep on creating memories, keep on uh, creating those bonds, and keep on showing love to that person, even if he or she is far away. Thank you so much. My name is Willy Kinyash. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart moments. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, 